Hello there, Spider Dash here. Recently, I rewatched Gravity Falls. I don't have anything to say more than the obvious. It's a really great cartoon. It shows why cartoons should be taken more seriously. This cartoon has a lot of secrets, more than what meets the eye. And that's why we are going through a deep dive through two Gravity Falls icebergs, making this the ultimate Gravity Falls Iceberg video. And before starting the video, thanks to Reddit users Crystal Conspiracy and Hasharma. Before starting the video, I have to say that I will not be covering entries that are too obvious. Like Gideon has book 2, Stan has book 3, or Summer Wind Trickster. These are things that if you watch the series, you already know. This video will already be long enough without those entries. So let's begin! Tier 1 Welcome to Gravity Falls Alex and Ariel Alex Hirsch is the creator of Gravity Falls. He has a sister named Ariel. Their relationship were Alex's inspiration to create Deeper and Mabel. Rick and Morty Justin Roiland, co-creator of Rick and Morty and Alex Hirsch creator of Gravity Falls are close friends. So, it's almost no surprise that there are Gravity Falls easter eggs on Rick and Morty. Such as in the season 1 episode 10, close Rick encounters of the Rick kind, where you can see the same objects that Uncle Stan accidentally threw through a portal appear on Rick and Morty. And on a promo for the season 4 of Rick and Morty, named The Delicious Taste of Ice Cream, you can actually see Uncle Stanford. The Mystery of Gravity Falls .com. The Mystery of Gravity Falls is a website that contains information about the characters, coders, and decoders to solve the secret messages hidden in the series. I'll leave a link in the description in case that you wanna see it. Mabel's Outfit Mabel's outfit is the only one that changes throughout the series. This is a reference to a sweater that Ariel Hirsch owns. Alex Hirsch Appearances In every show made by Alex Hirsch, he usually voices one or more characters. In the case of Gravity Falls, he voices Grunkle Stan, Zeus, Old Man McGucket, The Gnomes, Quentin Tremblay, Shmebulok, DP Fresh, and Bill Cipher. And also, he voiced the one-armed monstrosity. I will explain more about that in just a minute. Disco Girl In the sixth episode of the first season, named Deeper vs. Manliness, there's a song called Disco Girl by the group BABA, which is a parody of the song Dancing Queen by the real-life group ABBA. While making this video, I realized that there is an official version of this song, sung by Deeper. I will leave it in the description in case that you wanna hear it. Deeper's Birthmark Deeper's Birthmark looks like the Big Deeper constellation. That's how he got his nickname. Tyron In the season 1, episode 7, Double Deeper. Deeper clones himself, and the name of his first clone is Tyrone. Backgrounds Every background has a high level of detail. Pretty admirable the work that went into this. Pete Cola Pete Cola is a peach flavored soda that appears many times throughout the series. Time Traveler Blending Blended appears for the first time in the ninth episode of the first season, or at least is what you might think, he actually appears in the first three episodes. Fortune Hoax Alex Hirsch posted this picture on 4chan, leading many people to believe that Old Man McGucket was the author of the journals, when the real one wasn't revealed yet. Obviously, this was a prank. Bad Boy 
Bad Boy was created by Weekly Board News in 1982. They published fabricated stories about his apparition in real life. He has a small cameo in the intro of Gravity Falls. Weirdness Magnet This is what Stanford says to Bill Cipher. Incredible! Gravity Falls natural law of weirdness magnetism! explaining why Gravity Falls is so weird, and also explaining why most of the weirdness can't leave Gravity Falls. Cypher Quest This was a real-life quest organized by Alex Hirsch. The main objective of this quest was to find a real-life statue of Bill Cypher. There's a really good video covering this topic made by Blame It On George. I'll leave a link in the description in case that you want more details. Deeper's real name We know that Deeper is just a nickname, but in the physical version of the Journal 3, it's revealed that his name is Mason. Tier 2 Chris's Diner Stan's Tattoo Stanley Pines got his tattoo by accident, while fighting his brother. Well, more than a tattoo, is a scar. We know that the meaning behind his tattoo is Watch your back. And we know this thanks to Bill Cipher. Stan symbol changing. We all are familiarized with the symbol on Stanley's face. It was completely removed from the Gravity Falls version on Disney+. Plus. Apparently, it was removed because the fictional site resembled Islamic iconography and masonry too. Not what he seems. The intro of Gravity Falls has hidden messages. If you listen to it backwards, it usually says This is a reference to the Caesar cipher. In almost every episode, it's a code that you can solve by using this cipher. But on the 12th episode of the second season, you can hear this in the intro. Warning us about Stanley Pines' true secrets. Gravity Falls Pilot This episode was uploaded as a reward of the completion of the previously mentioned Cypher Quest. It's a low-budget episode of what the pilot was supposed to look like. It's interesting to say the least. The drawing style and the animation change a lot. I'll leave instructions to access to it in the description. H The letter H appears many times throughout the series. Maybe this is a reference to Alex Hirsch's last name. Tad Strange Tad Strange appears for the first time in the 14th episode of the second season named The Stenturian Candidate. According to Zeus, Tad Strange is the most normal person in Gravity Falls. Brad Breck made me realize. Brad Breck is the composer for Gravity Falls. He also made the intro for the MTV show Awkward. The intro of that show is called Made Me Realize and it can be confused with the intro of Gravity Falls. Both songs were mixed and called Gravity Falls opening theme full, but they're not the same song. Alternative, Bill Cipher's first scene. Bill Cipher was originally going to appear in the previously mentioned episode, Double Deeper. I'll leave a link in the description in case that you wanna see it. It's funny to say the least. Holy Mackerel. The Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel is the name of a yellow banner with an Egyptian death mask. You can see it multiple times during multiple episodes at the Mystery Shack. It is revealed in the Gravity Falls Journal 3 that the Royal Order of the Holy Mackerel was a secret society that the Stan's dad was part of. There's a YouTube series with the same name of the Royal Order 
of the Holy Macarel, made by Secret Screening, dedicated to discovering, decoding, and protecting the secrets of Gravity Falls. Holy Macarel is the name of Alex Hirsch's Debian Art account, which is currently inactive. The design is very reminiscent of the Shriner symbol, which resembles the fez that Alex Hirsch was wearing during the Mystery Tour 2013. Big Trouble in Little Oregon When Alex Hirsch got asked what other name he would have given to Gravity Falls, he answered, Big Trouble in Little Oregon. Boring Oregon Gravity Falls was inspired by Boring Oregon, a city that Alex used to pass, but actually never visited. Pinecest Even before Gravity Falls was released, Alex Hirsch expressed his concern of people drawing inappropriate material of Deeper and Mabel. This didn't stop anyone to make Alex Hirsch's fear a reality. Shmebulok's father died. On the 11th episode of the second season, it is revealed Shmebulok's father. Fascinating. What did you say your name was? Shmebulok Sr. In the episode The Last Mabel Corn, you can see a tree with the words Rest in peace, Shmebulok Sr. Deleted scenes. As any other series, Gravity Falls has a lot of deleted scenes. There are a lot of things that we never got to see in the series. I'll leave a link in the description in case that you want to see some deleted scenes. Jesus Chambro. Zeus was inspired by a friend of Alex Hirsch named Jesus Chambro. Slenderman. There was a rumor that Slenderman appeared in one of the first episodes of Gravity Falls, but all of the evidence is fake, although Slenderman would later make an appearance on the Gravity Falls comic book The Lost Legends. Book 4 In one of the pages of the previously mentioned comic book Gravity Falls The Lost Legends, there's something that resembles a fourth journal. Up to this day, we don't have any information about its content. Cut Unicorn Fight On the episode, The Last Mabel Corn is a deleted scene. It was deleted because, according to Disney, it was too violent. Le Bam. This animation error which misspells Mabel backwards led many people to believe that Deeper and Mabel have another sister, named Le Bam. It's gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird was supposed to be a song that Bill Cipher was going to sing in Weird Mahedon, although he never made it into the series due to scheduling issues. But even if the song didn't make it into the series, it is out there. I'll leave a link in the description in case that you wanna hear it. DP Fresh head snap. Deeper was supposed to kill DP Fresh by snapping his head, but for obvious reasons, this never happened. A space lizard a sled race. According to Mabel, the space lizard was defeated by her and Deeper in a dog sled race. It is unclear when and where this took place. Be warp is the shape of the mosquito's bite on the arm of Deeper, misspelling Beware. Amphibia crossover On the fifth episode of the second season of Amphibia, you can see a frog that resembles Grunkle Stan and is even voiced by Alex Hirsch. Just hit pay dirt, frog Zeus! Do -do -do -do. Say, Mr. Pons, do you ever get the feeling that we exist simultaneously in multiple parallel universes? Tier 3 The Mystery Shock Blendin and Bill 
spoiling next episodes. On the 19th episode of the first season, where Bill Cipher is first revealed, you can see many things, like the prison where Gideon was incarcerated, or you can see Uncle Stanford much time before it was officially revealed. And on the first episode, where Blending Blending appears, you can see the cavern where Waters will be later abducted by a pectoralactyl. And you can see the arcade that is home of Rumble Max Kirmish. Website Secrets The previously mentioned website, The Mystery of Gravity Falls, contains many secrets. Like, if you inspect the code of the page, you can see a picture of Waddles. And, if you have Adblock activated, you can see this funny message. There are a lot of secrets in this page. I leave a blog with every one of them in the description. Mabel said she make me a website.com. This is a page to promote the episode, the Stanturing Candidate that I previously mentioned. The object of this page is to promote Stanley Pine's candidature. It is really funny. I will leave a link in the description. 618 618 is the recurring arc number in Gravity Falls. The number is based on the date June 18, the birthday of Alex Hilch and his sister Ariel. If you look closely, you will see this number appear many times throughout the series. Tracy and Quattro In the episode Double Deeper, the only clones that survive are Tracy and Quattro. They escaped. In the credits of the final episode of Gravity Falls, we can see that they are still alive. The Owl House On the complete series of Gravity Falls, there's a special feature, where you can hear a commentary by Stanley Pines. The commentary will be in the description, in case that you wanna hear it. But, the most important thing mentioned there is that Stanley Pines was married to Ida Clawthorn, the Owl Lady from the Owl House. Green Bill Cipher Bill Cipher was supposed to be green instead of yellow, as a reference to the Eye of Providence in the dollar bill, but they changed its color to yellow, because it looks better that way. Buffalo in Gravity Falls workspace Alex Hirsch had a buffalo in the office where Gravity Falls was being produced. It had no purpose other than to maintain the weirdness in the office, characteristic of a mad genius like Alex Hirsch. The same buffalo appears in one episode of the series. Waxtan Funeral, really for Fort. In the third episode of the first season, Headhunters. You can't notice this when you watch this episode for the first time. You can see that Grunkle Stan gets really emotional and it's funny because you think that the funeral of Wax Stan is just a joke. But when you notice that this funeral was for his brother that he thought was dead, it gets sad. Rumble Cross Giffany. A lot of people ship Rumble Max Kirmish with Giffany because they're both video games, although we don't have nothing official yet. President's Key The President's Key was handed to Deeper by Quentin Tremblay. Allegedly, it has the power to open any door, although it wasn't used much in the series, it was more useful in the comic Gravity Falls The Lost Legends. And, according to Shmebulok, the key tastes like old men. Oregon Vortex If you search Gravity Falls on Google Maps, it will take you to the Oregon Vortex. It's a place that resembles the Mystery Shack. Russian Ripoff There's a Russian Gravity Falls ripoff called Belly. Although it looks generic, it isn't that bad. 
Stanford on Season 1. In the ninth episode of the first season, the time travelers speak. Dipper and Mabel go back in time and travel to see an old version of the Mystery Shack and, after they leave, someone that appears to be Stanford Pines opens the door. Lois C.K. Remember what I said about Alex Hirsch voicing the one-armed monstrosity? Well, Lois C.K. voiced the one-armed monstrosity. Later, he got into a controversy over sexual abuse. After Lois confirming his actions, Disney removed his voice and replaced him with Alex Hirsch. Mystery Shack Internal Plexus The Mystery Shack is geometrically impossible. It is way bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Runes on intro doesn't exist. The runes that appear in the intro where Deeper is named aren't accurate. They're supposed to be North runes. But most of them actually don't mean nothing. Bill Cipher Ask Me Anything On April 1st, 2015, Alex Hirsch, with the username of Bill Cipher, opened an Ask Me Anything on Reddit. I'll leave the link to the thread on the description. It is really funny to read, to say the least. World TV the TV that Stanley Pines owns is from the brand Warhol, and it's a reference to Ian Warhol, the art director of Gravity Falls. Government agents in the background. After the events of the first episode of the second season, you can see government agents in the background spying on Deeper and Mabel. In the episode The Soak Opera, you can see that they left a listening device hidden in the mystery shack. Kirsten Shaw internal bleeding during recording. Kirsten Shaw is the voice of Mabel. During a recording, she suffered from an ectopic pregnancy. This is when a baby develops outside of the uterus and one of her fallopian tubes broke, causing an internal bleeding. It was a really painful experience for her and it is really admirable that despite the pain, she kept working. At the end, she was rushed to the hospital just in time. She lost over 2 liters of blood. I'll leave a link in the description, in case that you want to hear the story narrated by her. Tier 4 Gravity Falls Cemetery Spin the Bottle Censorship On the 12th episode of the first season, Summer win. There was supposed to be a joke about not spinning the bottle on the flyer that is handed to Dipper by Wendy. But Disney didn't allow this joke because spinning the bottle is usually related to beer, people kissing, and other kinds of stuff. Cursed doors. We didn't see any of this in the series, but on the physical version of the Journal 3, you can see how cursed doors exist on Gravity Falls. Some of them will take you to different dimensions, and others are traps that will leave you stuck in the dark room forever. Unused Bill Cipher Transformations On the episodes of Wirmageddon, we were supposed to have more transformations of Bill Cipher. They weren't able to implement these transformations on the show because of scheduling issues. But we have pictures of how Bill Cipher could have looked. Cursed Windows If you look at the Northwest Manor from a certain angle, you can see how the windows spell cursed. And we know that they are cursed because of a broken deal. Unused Labyrinth Scene Remember the episode where Zeus gets lost in a labyrinth? Well, on a deleted scene we can see how Zeus was seemingly going to be rescued by a helicopter, but they were just handing him a book on how to solve maze puzzles. 
Can't win the episodes. Alex Hirsch tried multiple times to make a Wendy centric episode, but he was afraid of ruining her character. One feature Wendy with weather based powers. This one almost got produced, but Alex was afraid of ruining her character again, so he wrote The Last Mabel Corps instead. George Washington was a host for Bill Cipher. In the Journal 3 is mentioned that George Washington and Bill Cipher made a deal. Washington was going to build a nation with Bill Cipher's face on it, but he ended up just putting Bill Cipher's face on the dollar bill. This made Bill Cipher so mad that he ended up causing George Washington nightmare so bad that all of his teeth fell off. He had to use two replacements made out of wood. M Dimension In the Journal 3 is mentioned a dimension where the letter M is the only consonant and everything is made out of it. Not as funny as it sounds. Bill planned to kill Deeper via suicide. On the fourth episode of the second season, the Soak Opera. Bill Cipher takes control of Deeper's body. Everything looks good so far, but on the Journal 3 is revealed that Bill Cipher has plans of jumping off of the water tower, so everybody will think that Deeper committed suicide. Bill Cipher killed his family. Bill Cipher originated from the second dimension. Bill despised living there. He liberated his dimension by plunging it into chaos along with everyone he had ever known, including his own parents. Eventually, he took over the Nightmare Realm. Do over dimension. On the Journal 3 is mentioned this curious dimension where time behaves differently. One minute can pass and then travel back one hour. The Refugees The Refugees are a group of minor refugees that Ford found when he was traveling through dimensions. Time Baby Sangri On the first episode of Wormageddon, after the Time Baby is killed by Bill Cipher during the cryptogram of the credits, it is revealed that it will take a thousand years for him to reconstitute the molecules of his body and then revive. We have seen this future in the episode The Time Travels Speak, and indeed, the Time Baby seems really mad. The Simpsons Crossover On the latest episode of The Simpsons, Bill Cipher has a small cameo. But I am known by many names and take many forms. By crypto suckers! Honestly, it is surprising the amount of reference and cameos that Gravity Falls has on other shows. Tier 5 Northwest Manor Laptop's Password During the fourth episode of the second season, Sock Opera. The laptop's password is a whole mystery. It is an 8 letter password that's never told or discovered throughout the show. At Big Fest Russia, Alex Hirsch confirmed the password to the laptop was Stanford. And the laptop illustration in the special edition of Gravity Falls Journal 3 has this password written on it in invisible ink. Bad parenting. Bad parenting is a common topic on the show. Wendy's dad, Sue's dad, Stanley and Stanford's dad, Gideon's parents. It's funny if you think about it. Robbie is a zombie slash vampire. There are multiple theories out there stating that Robbie is either a zombie or a vampire. Although they might be true, nothing is confirmed. Shaman Modok. On the special edition of the Journal 3, it's revealed that the first man ever known to defeat Bill Cipher was a man named 
Shaman Modok. The Mystery Kids Mysteries. On one episode of the cartoon Wonder Over Yonder, there is a Gravity Falls Easter egg. One of the characters is watching a cartoon that resembles Gravity Falls, but is called the Mystery Kids Mysteries instead. John Stewart convinced Alex Hirsch to continue. Amidst of the first season, Alex Hirsch was ready to end Gravity Falls. It was the first project where he was in charge, and he found the process tiresome, to the point of almost despising it. But after seeing how well the show was being received, and after a call with John Stewart where he told him how much his kids loved Gravity Falls, Alex Hirsch found the will to keep making Gravity Falls. Disney wanted the show to continue. Disney wanted the show to continue, but Alex planned the show with a beginning and with an end. Wise decision, because many shows have lost their sparkle that makes them special after being produced for a long time. Currently, Alex Hirsch wants to make a continuation of Gravity Falls, but with the main focus on Stanley and Stanford. But Disney isn't interested on making a cartoon where the main protagonists are all men. So, if more Gravity Falls content is produced in any given moment, either Alex Hirsch or Disney have to budge. Censored LGBT representation Alex Hirsch wanted to represent the LGBT community in the show, but Disney didn't allow him to. Bill Black There are rumors that the original name of Bill Cipher was going to be Bill Black, but Disney didn't allow this because of the musician with the same name. Basketball First Videos Basketball is a really good YouTuber that makes videos about cartoons, but his first videos are theories about Gravity Falls. That Strange is Bill's twin. During the previously mentioned Bill Cipher asked me anything, a person asked about that Strange's identity and the reply was, that is a real square. A lot of people took this literally and thought that that Strange is literally a square that is twin of Bill Cipher. Reason of Strangeness In the 17th episode of the second season, called Deeper and Mabel vs. the Future, it's revealed that the creatures and events of Gravity Falls are caused by an alien spaceship that crashed there millions of years ago, creating an area called the Crash Site Omega. The Shapeshifter is an alien. The Shapeshifter seen in the episode Into the Bunker, who was raised by Stanford, is probably an alien. In the episode Deeper and Mabel vs. the Future, there's a code in a wall inside the UFO that decoded says a specimen has escaped, is changing forms. Detective Parallels The fictitious show Detective makes a joke about the fans knowing about Stan having a twin for a while before it was revealed. That's the big twist we were waiting for! What a rip -off! I predicted that like a year ago. Rick Sanchez On the Journal 3 of Gravity Falls, there's a wanted poster of Stanford Pines. If you decode the words right to Stanford's face, it says, Rick was here. And on another page, you can see a plumbus. It's clear that Gravity Falls and Rick and Morty are in the same universe. Tier 6, Wormageddon Hidden Keys There are multiple times of the show you can spot hidden keys. What their true meaning is, is yet to be revealed. Gumpers Watches Gumpers is a goat that lives in Gravity Falls, usually is seen near to Deeper and Mabel, 
For this reason, a lot of people believe that Kumpers is Bill Cipher disguised as a goat. Bill Cipher is a bird. After the events of the final episode of Gravity Falls, the Twitter account Oregon Parks Department posted this picture, then posted a picture about the Journal 3 that was retweeted by Alex Hirsch, leading many people to believe that Bill Cipher is currently a bird. Bottomless Pit Mystery the bottomless pit found on Gravity Falls is inspired by the real bottomless pit called Mel's Hole. Only for link in the description in case that you want more information about Mel's Hole. Blending at the end of Gideon Rises. On the 20th episode of the first season, Gideon Rises, you can spot blending behind the multitude. Although we don't have any explanation why he is appearing here. Build and Blending Deal On the Journal 3 is mentioned that before the events of Wyrmageddon, Bill and Blending made a deal. Blending was being mocked because he lost against Deeper and Mabel on the Gladiator fight. While Blending was sleeping, Bill Cipher appeared on his dream and offered him a deal where his co-workers would stop mocking him in exchange of letting him use his body. Blending is dead. On the same page of the Journal 3 where is mentioned the deal between Bill and Blending is mentioned that after the events of Wyrmageddon, Blending traveled to the past and he actually talked that it was nice. So, it's a situation similar to Back to the Future where he is dead in the present, but alive in the past, and he could travel from the past to the present. If you did not understand this, it's because you're a normal person. Stanley Kubrick was a host for Bill Cipher. On one page of Journal 3 is mentioned that Stanley Kubrick was a host for Bill Cipher, and the nightmares that Bill Cipher produced to Stanley Kubrick were the inspiration to make some of his movies. Alex Hirsch based Wendy off a real person. Alex Hirsch said on an interview that he based Wendy off the first girl he talked to when he was 12 years old. Deeper and Mabel parents thought they were sending them to Fort. It is known that Stanley Pines is taking the identity of his brother Stanford. So, it is not unbelievable that Deeper and Mabel parents thought they were sending them to Stanford. And of knowing that Stanley Pines was taking the identity of his brother, Deeper and Mabel parents will never send them to Gravity Falls, and the events of the show might not have happened. Everyone in Gravity Falls has brain damage. We know that the Society of the Blind Eye used to delete everyone's memories in Gravity Falls just to avoid everyone knowing about the mysteries lurking on the city. We know that old man McGucket ended up insane because of the excessive use of the memory gun. So, it is not hard to imagine that everyone in Gravity Falls has some kind of brain damage. Unintentional Phineas and Ferb reference. Remember the intro of Phineas and Ferb? Discovering something that doesn't exist. The something that doesn't exist appears as a table on Gravity Falls. It is said that Alex Hirsch did this unintentionally, but we may never know the truth. Mrs. Gleeful. According to the wiki, Mrs. Gleeful is paranoid, traumatized, and disturbed. But why? Well, after giving birth to Gideon, there was a time where she was happy. But after the events of Gideon finding the journal too, she got exposed to the weirdness of Gravity Falls. Then, her husband, Bud Gleeful, who is a member of the Society of the Blind Eye, was forced 
to delete her memories, so this kept happening until she got traumatized. Share me. On the 12th episode of the second season, a tale of two stands, you can see Stanley and Stanford's mother carrying a baby. His name is Shermy, and is either father or grandfather of Deeper and Mabel. Pilot unused clips. Do you remember about the pilot of Gravity Falls? There are multiple scenes that weren't used on the pilot. One of them is one about Deeper escaping from Anufo, and other about a random gear touching Deeper's hands. The random gear might be a better version of Wendy. Bill Cipher in Amphibia. On one episode of Amphibia, you can see a picture of Bill Cipher on a notebook. Rick Sanchez was a host for Bill Cipher. On one page of the comic, Gravity Falls The Lost Legends, you can see a member of the Society of the Blind Eye selling memories. Among them, you can see that he is selling the memories of Tad Strange, Tambri, Abuelita, Mrs. Corduroy, who is Wendy's mom, and if you zoom even more, you can see that he is selling the memories of Gideon and the memories of Rick Sanchez. So, it is believed that there was one time where Rick Sanchez visited Gravity Falls. Somehow, he made a deal with Bill Cipher, and at some point, he got his memory deleted by the Society of the Blind Eye. Axolotl The Axolotl is a powerful, extra-dimensional creature whose power ranks massively above that of Time Baby and Bill Cipher. He's mentioned by Bill while he was being erased by the memory gun. It takes the form of a gigantic and majestic axolotl, but it also can take the form of a female alien named the Oracle. And Alex Hirsch said on an interview that if he continues the story of Gravity Falls, he will answer more questions about the axolotl. Well, hello there! So just stay until the end. Thank you for watching my video. I tried to improve the overall quality of this video over my last iceberg. So I hope that it shows and that you like it. It took me almost two weeks to make this video. And at some point I wanted to give up. But I remembered about how Alex Hirsch wanted to give up and how he didn't. And he kept fighting and created one of the best cartoons of all time. I correct myself. He created the best cartoon of all time. If you doubt the importance of Gravity Falls, just look at all these cartoons and think about the fact that all are connected because of this one. When someone puts his heart into his art, you can feel it. And in the case of Gravity Falls, you can feel how everything came from Alex Hirsch's heart. When someone creates a masterpiece, you can tell because it unites people. So thank you Alex Hirsch for creating Gravity Falls, and thank you for watching this video. Consider giving me a like and subscribing. I'll see you on the next time.